I got some confidence to call me cocky. I fucking tiger in the eye, I feel like rocky. I am up. Sorry, Matt. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. It's a size cut out. That's all right. I thought it was my microphone. <laughs> I heard you say hello, and then, uh, and then, yeah. How are you? Yeah, we're good, mate. Good. Evening, guys. Good right, job. Evening. So how many rounds of this have you done? Uh, this is race four. Short series then? Yeah, yeah, it's just like a taster. Just uh, while well, they try and get something bigger set up for the new year. It was really, uh, yeah, it was my first introduction to racing actually. It was doing this back in April. All right. Uh, and that was before I like started racing with the WKG boys in the ZRL. All right. So yeah, my first my first experience of racing was racing against Jav and him just absolutely destroying the entirety of the field in Division Two. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm expecting to see him do the same tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> you all right, Dan? <clears throat> oh, that's not here yet. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah. All good, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to be straight into the uh, KOM at one kilometre. You managed to get that um, warm up in, Dan. Uh, yeah, sorry guys, I was in the other channel waiting for all of you and then I realised oh. I'm in the wrong one. So, sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've been in the bike for a while. Okay, good man. Right, good. off we go. Good good good. 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 Small field, only 22. And hopefully you've got the right kick. Right? So, so. He's got the power. Yeah. Obviously the rest of us just need to make sure that we do what we need to do, stay in the front.
Go on, Dan. Go on, mate. You got this. Oh, job going. Go on, boys. Go on, boys. Almost there. Nice. Well done, Dan. Amazing, mate. <laughs> <All right back. laughs> well, push, Jeff. <laughs> Any recovery time till the next one. All right, done. You scared the shit out of me when you went there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just can't hold you back. Well, I wasn't sure how far I came going. It was slow. I think that's Mr. Lip. But they're looking to do the minimum before the climb. That was not all that technical by him. I mean, you guys are overtaking us at halfway. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's them doing the bare minimum, and thinking about the end points. Yeah. Anyway, we got those ones. Let's keep an eye because I have to I assume that they'll uh, pick someone else to go for Tyson's. What's, uh, what's, 
make our start again. We'll see. Yeah. What's the tactic if someone goes off the front in between? Uh, that's uh, that's you to chase. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just all shut anything down. Yeah. Just from that one team or anyone? Uh, no, just Cone. I mean, that, that, there's there's no point yeah. in trying to chase anyone else down. They're no yeah. threat to us. So yeah, the uh, the blue and white guys, the other blue yeah. and white guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going for Titans for us? Uh, I will, and then if anyone else wants to go as well. Yeah, I, I but, agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't feel the need to push yourself, though, if you need to recover ahead of Volcano. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Must have looked down to the front. Right. They like to do that a lot. Go to the front and push it's it a bit. In the water. Yeah. I think they'll do it before times. Yeah, we'll see. They didn't. They didn't go before rooftop. No. But yeah. anyway, if they, if they do try and go before Titans, we'll shut it down. Yeah. Like I'll 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 follow any move that goes yeah. when we're actually on Titans. Yeah, this is a potential spot. Yeah. Come and grab I'll cover it if anyone goes. Yeah. How much before the Titan? Sorry? Uh, how many kilometers do we have before the Titan? So we start like the the, the gentle upslope at 9.4. Yeah. And then we start the actual segment yeah, at 13. All right. Okay. Okay, Jack, you're right. Yeah, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I think Jav has the best recovery of any of us. <laughs> it's certainly the best at riding two or three days in a row, that's the Yeah. <laughs> well, Thursdays have been killing me, sorry, Wednesdays have been killing me, but Jav seems to get stronger. Yeah. Did you guys do the dirt series last night? No, yes. No. So we're there. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so there was a coordinated colleague. I did nothing basically. Yeah. Rest in the legs. It's good. A couple of the coned guys did dirt, uh, but not Luffy. Go get the Vaseline on. Go stay nice and smooth. Oh, you are new to destroy us all. Yeah, I don't smell so fresh right now. I've already done one hour warm up. And cheers, Dad. Try and do you proud. Are you at the casino tonight with uh, Hartley?
nice and cagey. Yeah, right? Yeah, it, it has been every time, to be honest. <laughs> the cone guys will occasionally go to the front and try and push it on a bit, but they haven't really tried any uh, like explosive breakaways before. They might be inclined to on this one because they've got numbers and it doesn't really matter if you burn one person. But I still doubt it. Hey, if you got the figure for it, Kelvin. Poor Pat's on his own with the other Rhino team. Yeah, strange. They meant to have four riders. Oh no, they have. It's just the other three are uh, in the group behind, unfortunately. Oh, no. They all got shed out of the back on the comp. Pretty horrible start to a race route. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Might be starting. Yeah.
Ah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> no, I wasn't first over though. All right. I'll just pass this through.
They've got four in the front group, so. No point in trying to force it. The volcano starts at 25.5. Yeah. I always forget that I've got a woolly hat on. <laughs> absolutely drenched. <laughs> I actually made a mistake on the camera. I thought there are two rhinos in front of me. I saw Alex and the CND guy. I missed his kit. His oh, kit. right, okay. <laughs> oh, so no. I thought the chilling sweep of a podium didn't push it anymore. My bad. Oh, it's all good. We had two at the front now. I'm not sure we'd want to do all four of us trying to it. Nah. Maximum two, but anyway, that's the uh, that's the end of those segments. It's just everyone maximise your own position on the volcano. Yeah, if you end up in fourth and you're struggling, it's yeah, yeah, if you're, you. yeah, yeah, if you're the third rider, consider helping the fourth. But we'll see what it's like. It could be me. I mean, last week it was me struggling on the climb. That's the. Yeah, that was a longer climb. We'll see. We'll just. Yeah. I think I there, like Matt's said. Matt's our guy anyway for uh, for this climb. For the first, and then yeah. we'll just see who <laughs> the uh, second, third, and fourth ones are. Yeah, I'll give it a good go. Just 
just uh yeah make sure you save a kick for that last bit yeah Alex, how do you feel for this one? Sorry? How do you feel for this one? Happy to go with Matt? Well, I think I think just the strategy is everyone push as hard as you can. Um, okay. Let them let them set the pace. They need to set the pace because we have the better kick. Apart from Luck, we have better kick than all of them. So they need to set the pace okay. to get rid of us. So let them set the pace. We can react. I think Matt will probably be the best place to um, to do okay. best, but yeah. there's no there's no leader for this one. We just need to make sure we protect our fourth rider as best as possible. Whoever that is on the climb. Yeah, sure. But yeah, just hang on as as long as you can to the front. Is the basic strategy here. Okay. Just remember on the finish, it's about our second rider. Yeah. And the remember also... Says 10 seconds clear, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But it's also the fastest through on the segment. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you can match them, of course. Yeah. But also remember the uh, the finish line is a hundred meters after the top of the uh, volcano. Yeah. So keep pushing through the line. <clears throat> A 
Here we go. Yeah. There they go. Might be rest.
Oh, Jack. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come back. Well done, mate. Oh, oh. yeah. We did it. I'm back. We did it. We did it. We won for sure. We won. Well done, lads. That was amazing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Dan, that was incredible, mate. Incredible. Yeah, Get in, lads. Well done. Yeah. Well, that's a great swing shot there, man. Yeah. Oh. So, Jav got fastest through segment. Jav got. Jav beat their second rider. And I beat their fourth. Sweet. Convincingly. Quite so, yeah, we won. We got it. Yeah. Oh. I just didn't have it. But well done, well done boys. Huh. Oh. Me neither. Had nothing left at the end. Sorry. No. Wow, you boys were at the point at the start of the climb, so we were just hiding behind you, to be honest. <clears throat> so I was only going to play on that climb. Oh, that was, uh, that was incredible riding, I'd say. Oh. Well done, mate, because they put the pilot down a couple of times and they couldn't shake us. Yeah, so that's all we needed to do, wasn't it? Just be on it every time. Oh. Oh. Thanks so much for subbing in, Matt. No that worries. was, uh, that was a lifesaver. You won us the league, mate. Absolutely. We owe you some virtual champagne. Yeah, yeah sure, it's fine. No worries. To be, honest, nice. to be honest, you were the motivation. You were supposed to get the segment anywhere off the back. Somewhat. <laughs> so it was very, very motivating. That's just for me. Yeah. Oh, Jav is just a machine. He can just keep on going and going and going. I don't know how you do it, mate. Oh, it's like the more yeah. you race, oh, the yeah. uh, the more fatigue you've got, the harder you can push. Yeah. It's like the opposite of how it's tricky. supposed to work. Yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I spent the whole summer not doing any drifting. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's, that is amazing to beat those guys. Because they're such strong riders. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm just. I'm facts. Absolutely facts. <laughs> My heart rate is through the roof, so I don't know if it's because I have a few days <laughs> off or probably is, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means you get more reactivity, don't you? If you have a few days rest. Yeah, like, doesn't normally go that high, but I guess normally the trains and fatigue. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a super hard race up to that point, especially after yeah. you pushed so hard in the first one. I mean, I was, I was yeah, over my lactate like, threshold at the start of the climb. <laughs> I didn't see what the climb was, but I was just matching that Lupo goal guy, and you guys caught up halfway, so I don't think it was that hard, really. In the grand scheme, obviously it was, but you know what I mean. It wasn't an all right 90 second effort. Yeah, you, you got 134, I think, which is not far oh, yeah, of your... Quite, yeah, I mean, yeah. considering that you didn't have anyone to draft off, like you would yeah. have, because your PB was in the Z row, wasn't it? Uh, in the first yeah. season. So you would have had people that you're drafting off then. So I yeah, you were, you were very... Maybe, maybe a psychological, but I always find it a bit easier when I can just sit behind somebody. Yeah. And... Yeah. Anyway. That's, that's what I tried to do on the Titans, but I came so close. Like I was... I was pretty much neck and neck with him. I just ran out of juice about 100 meters from the end. I just pulled away a little bit. Yeah. But we stuck to the tactics yeah. and did what we needed to do. Well, that's the thing. We like we used each other at different points, whereas they just rely on that one guy on everything. Yeah. That's probably the difference. Yeah. And then, I mean, they were really easy to read as well because... I knew that they were going to use Herrero, the guy who won last week, to try and like set a, a high pace on the front. Yeah. But he was just he was just burning himself out and burning his own teammates off. Yeah. Because that was that how was many, the thing. How many How many of those guys finished in the top group then? Uh, it was only yeah. the two guys. It was uh, yeah. Herrero and Lup were. Lup was second. Herrero was fourth, and then their other two guys were behind Miles. Well, the okay. WKG guys, so yeah, they yeah, were way Mark off. Did a good, good, good ride there. Yeah. Yeah, we did good as a team. Brilliant. We all four were in the front. Yeah. And that was great. But that's that's what I was saying this morning. Like they might have one guy who's stronger than all of us, but we've got four riders who are stronger than their top four, you know. And it, it you know. It wore them down to like have luck go for the first two segments and trying to push the pace on the final climb. Yeah, exactly. Like we have one each and the rest is a bit more. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, successful series, guys. Yeah, I'm sure that. I hope we get some more teams. I think we should be brave and just put it on a Tuesday. Yeah, well, to be honest, mate, like, everyone in uh, WKG would prefer to do this than to do ZRL. Yeah. I, I can understand it's a bit scary like... to try and compete, but, like, we would much rather do this than do uh, ZRL. But the whole reason why we, could, we couldn't we could really get enough for two teams was because we were kind of already committed to ZRL before the Rhinos thing came up. But if we had a choice between Rhinos and ZRL, we'd go Rhinos. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, I think we just have, if you want it to be really competitive, it has to be on a Tuesday, really. Yeah. To go for it. I mean, to be, to be honest, even if it was on like a Monday or a Wednesday, we would probably still prioritise it over ZRL. It was just because we'd already yeah. like committed to ZRL and people couldn't really change around their schedules and stuff. But if we know about it in advance, we'd, we'd you know, put all our eggs in the rhino's basket. Yeah. Because we much prefer this style of racing to ZRL. 100%. And I have, I really like, enjoyed it, but it's just a really hard Tuesday, Wednesday, isn't it? Back to back. Yeah. And just, you know, like a more intuitive, like, categorization system. Because, like, we had me and Matt where we were in, a, you know, WKG team in that A League, and we were second all the way through. 
and we would have come second but the team that was in third got uh, like a 5.8 rider in just for the last race who hadn't raced yeah. in any of the other races and it was just like and he, he just escaped on the first lap and just soloed it at 5.6 for the entire thing you know cool. like <laughs> but you know it's it wasn't really, you know, it just didn't really seem fair, but, you know, it's just what's allowed by ZRL. And, you know, people just sort of, like, register four weak riders to get the division, and then they'll bring in loads yeah. of strong riders into that league. So, like, the, the yeah. league categorization system just doesn't mean anything in the end. Whereas at least this is, like, you know, it's kind of set in stone. Like, you can't, like, replace a weak rider with a strong rider kind of thing. Yeah, I agree. But anyway, just the new types of racing. Like I, I get. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You have to think about something a little bit more, but actually, it makes for some quite good racing. Just a bit different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's not the same thing every week. Yeah. It just uh, makes it a bit more fun. A few different races and no power ups as well. Really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah that's good. Cool. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have to drop off, but good yeah. to race with you. Cheers, Matt. Uh, yeah, right mate. Thanks for that. Yeah, I hope hopefully uh, catch you guys again. Yeah, I'll catch you in a bit, mate. Take it easy. Take it easy. All right, guys. I'm yeah. off to. Uh, yeah. Catch you later. Yeah, cheers, sure, Chef. Bye, yeah. Bye, bye, bye. See ya. So, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. He's still planning on doing loads of riding over Christmas. He's oh yeah, 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 period. yeah. Like I'll uh, hopefully I'll have Friday off. So I want to like I haven't done lots of like the longer routes as well. Like I want to yeah. just uh, take off like the pretzels, do the, uh, the PRL. Yeah, just do some of the longer routes and just do some like free riding. Do some it's sweet that. spot on the climbs and stuff. Take a break from racing. Yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, like to I uh, yeah. Hey, the thing is, like, since I got COVID, I've been, I've been really focusing on just trying to like get my base miles up. But I've just been doing lots and lots of zone two stuff, and then like just doing ZRL and then this to like keep the intensity. But I want to try and get more like sweet spot riding in and. You know, do a few more like structure intervals and workouts and stuff. Yeah. Because uh, I think that's kind of what I've been lacking in terms of like getting back to fitness. Because I, I kind of realised that like one of the reasons why I got so fit during the summer was because I just I just go out and like just ride at sweet spot for hours. Um, and that's just not something I've been doing, you know, on Zwift. So yeah, I'm just going to try and do a bit more of that over the uh, over the winter. Get lots and lots yeah, of hours definitely. in, and yeah, hopefully I can come back in the new year with uh, a bit more fitness. Because I'm sure you'll a couple of weeks after you've done all those hours, I'm sure you'll be flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the uh, that's the intention. Because like my uh, my sprinting's definitely improved. Like my one minute and thirty second power have definitely improved, but I just haven't really been improving like my VO2 max or FTP at all. Yeah. So yeah. Work on those two things, and everything else kind of take care of itself. How yeah, about you? Uh, in the same boat, but... Yeah. Like I've obviously did a lot of riding before London, Edinburgh, London, and then had that, and that's when yeah. I had my best twenty-minute power. Yeah. And then the last, the last few weeks, I've started to notice that it's dropped a little bit, and I'm, I'm kind of getting away with it because these races are a bit punchy, but. Yeah, that hasn't been anything fresh all week. Last week, that 20 minute effort. Yeah. Quite apparent. And it's exactly. It's on the emergency. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah I. Because uh... we, we have like a, a winter league thing in WKG. And so, like, yeah. uh, we had a race up the Alp for one of the stages and then uh, a race up uh, Van, you know, Von Top. And yeah. yeah, I just like, I've still got like the stamina, like I can do like 
four and a half for like an hour or so. But I just can't seem to like get much above that for like 20 minutes. Like when I did Innsbruck last week, it was in like 4.6 for 20 minutes. So yeah, I, uh, it's kind of like that threshold. Just anywhere between like five and 20 minutes. I'm just, uh, I'm struggling yeah. to, uh, struggling to push those numbers up. Whereas before I got COVID, I was doing like almost five, you know, for 20 minutes, five watts a kilo. And I've lost some weight since then. So it was like, you know, three, five, you know, 360 kind of thing for 20 minutes. Whereas I'm now down to like 330. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the same last week. I just, I'm in the scene, I was like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just not able. To, and then, like, even like tonight, the first one, fine. But I know that if it had been in the summer, I'd have been able to go for Titans as well. But at the yeah. moment, I have to like pick the battles, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just fitness. Yeah. <laughs> but like, so we've, got, we've got Christmas and plenty of time for lots of riding. So yeah, yeah. Fast. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stay away from racing over Christmas and just yeah, focus on getting into the zones. The racing's fun. It's just uh, you know, it kind of you know, it doesn't necessarily hit the right zones all the time, especially if you're doing like those yeah, really no. like sprinty kind of races. It's not necessarily giving you the, the the stuff that you want. Yeah, and since um, Pete made that Saturday thing, that's. Not being a great idea either, like doing a long ride, racing a long ride on a Saturday when that used to just be a zone two ride. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, still well. yeah. That's why I've kind of stayed away from it the last few weeks, especially because I started yeah. doing park run again on a Saturday. Like, it's not necessarily the best idea to do park run and then a long, kind of you know, thresholdy racy ride. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> Right, anyway, I'm uh, I'm gonna log off, have a bath. Yeah, no worries. I will uh, uh yeah. Yeah, chat to you later. Christmas. You too, mate. Cheers. Yeah. Alright, thanks for stopping by guys. Then I'll be it for me racing for me for a while. But tentatively looking at doing a uh, everything on the 29th or 30th of December. So get that in your calendars. I'll uh, I'll be streaming it, of course, obviously, because why not? Gotta have the uh, gotta have the brief. Might just end up being a base camp, but we'll see how it goes. All right. Have a good night, guys.